Hi everyone, welcome back to High School Science 101. Today I'm going to show you four different features of the human body that are pretty uncommon. You might have them yourself or you might have one of these things. Um, it's pretty unlikely that you'll have more than one of them, but you might know someone that has one as well. So they're four pretty interesting things. Well, I find them interesting anyway, and I hope you do too. Let's get started. First up, we have a condition called heterochromia, which means displaying different colors. This generally applies to your eyes, so it can mean that your eyes are different colors, or it could also mean that the iris within one of your eyes displays two different colors. The iris is the colored part of the eye, and the more melanin you have, the darker brown your eyes are. And if you've watched my question time video, you'll know that melanin is the pigment that makes your skin a darker color. And the same thing happens to your iris. If the more melanin you have, the darker brown your iris is. So people that have dark brown eyes have a lot of melanin, and people with light brown or hazel eyes have less melanin. People with lighter colored eyes have less melanin, but whether they have blue or green or yellow eyes depends on the density of the stroma, which is the substance between the cornea, the front of the eye, and the iris. And the density of that stroma will affect how the light scatters as it enters the eye and reaches the iris. And that will determine whether you have blue or dark blue or green or yellow eyes. So it's not only the amount of melanin uh, or the pigment in your iris, but also the density of that stroma. Heterochromia can be caused by genetics, it can be caused by injury to the eyes, or it can also be a symptom of some other medical condition. And some famous people that have it include David Bowie and Mila Kunis. Being born with heterochromia is pretty rare. It only affects about 0.6% of the population. And of that 0.6%, it's not really noticeable and it doesn't affect them in any way. Next up, we have something called Sanpaku eyes. And it's not so much a biological feature or mutation, but it's more of a superstition, I guess. It translates to three whites from Japanese. And it refers to people's eyes that have white, the white part of the eyeball called the sclera, visible either side of the iris, as well as above or below it. And in Chinese medicine, having white visible below the eye indicated something physically wrong with your body or some sort of imbalance, while having whites above the eye indicated some sort of mental condition like psychosis, rage, stress, or fatigue. Some famous people pictured here with whites below the eyes include Tiger Woods, Princess Diana, Michael Jackson, and Audrey Hepburn. So if you believe in this phenomenon, then perhaps at the time of being photographed, they had some sort of physical illness or some sort of imbalance such as alcoholism or some sort of drug addiction. Some people that have been pictured with whites above the eyes include James Holmes, who murdered 12 people in Colorado in 2012, and Charles Manson, who founded a murderous cult in the 60s and 70s. So both of these guys are pretty crazy and pretty bad people. And they have whites above the eyes, which supports the Sanpaku eyes theory that if you have whites above the eyes, then you have some sort of mental illness or imbalance. But then again, there are lots of people that have been photographed that have whites above the eyes that aren't crazy. So whether you believe in the Sanpaku eyes phenomenon is up to you. But nonetheless, it is a phenomenon and it does concern a part of the human body. So I thought it'd be interesting to bring up. Moving away from the eyes to another part of the body now, Usually people have three creases in the palm of your hand, but for at least one and a half percent of the whole population or with people with Down syndrome, you might find that you only have two creases with one crease going across the whole length of your hand. This is more properly known as a single transverse palmar crease because simian generally refers to a level of classification that refers to monkeys and apes. But in this video, I've used the word simian because it is the most commonly used term. In addition to being linked with Down syndrome, having this crease is also a symptom of several other genetic diseases and birth defects. But that being said, there are also many people that have this crease that lead happy and healthy lives. Now we're going to move into the foot and Morton's toe is when the big toe is shorter than the second toe. The other toes might be normal sizes relative to each other, but the big toe is noticeably shorter. This can lead to more pressure being on that smaller toe and can lead to pain and calluses underneath it. It can also affect how you walk and how you run and your whole body's posture, which means it can also affect your back and your neck. 
It's estimated that it's actually pretty common, affecting 20 to 30% of the whole world's population. And of the people that have it, about 80% suffer from chronic pain. It's also sometimes known as Greek foot because the ancient Greeks thought it was pleasing to look at and incorporated it into their paintings and sculptures. That's it for today. If you have one of these features, please let me know, leave a comment, and it'll be really interesting to hear your story and how it affects you, if it does. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.